This is In Through the Outdoors, and I'm your anchor, Jason Walter, with ITTO News. The North Dakota Game and Fish 76th Annual Spring Breeding Duck Survey conducted in May showed an index of more than 3.4 million birds, up just 1.5% from last year. And like last year, the breeding duck index for 2023 was the 23rd highest on record, and it stands at 39% above the long-term 74-year average that dates back to 1948. The green-winged teal, widgeon, pintail, shovelers, and canvasbacks all saw increases, but scop, mallards, and blue-winged teal were down. And as long as we're talking numbers, South Dakota Game Fish and Parks reports a strong year for the pheasant harvest, with 1,158,000 total bagged birds during last year's pheasant hunting season in South Dakota. Next year's goal, 1.5 million. According to Meat Eater, on June 2nd, the Alaska Department of Fish and Game shot a rabid moose wandering the streets of Teller, Alaska, just north of Nome. According to reports, the moose was unbalanced, stumbling, drooling profusely, and had bare patches of skin. Several residents reported that it was actually unusually aggressive toward people. A rabies test returned positive results for the Arctic fox variant of the disease, and it's believed to be the first rabid moose in North America. On the calendar, ICAST 2023 in Orlando, Florida, July 11th through the 14th. That's an ITTO News update. Enjoy your weekend. I'm Jason Walter, and that's In Through the Outdoors. You'll find more at ChasenWalter.com, Facebook, and YouTube. Thanks for listening. The batteries are dead on your golf cart, and you've got to carry your own clubs. You've been hitting double bogeys all day, but you've finally parred a hole. Wrap it up and head for the clubhouse. There's a stall with your name on it. Tear, unfold, and wipe, dude. Dude wipes made minty for men because Eagle is code at the country club for number two.